What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Saturday, December 31st. I want to wish everybody a happy New Year's because in today's video, we're going to be talking about retro goons. Now, this is a Solana NOT collection that I think should definitely be on your radar. And I often make videos on weekdays, but today is a Saturday, and I just had to share this with you because the potential for this to moon is absolutely amazing in my point of view. Now, everything in this video is not financial advice, it's just my own opinion and for your own entertainment. So please take this as information and educational use only. Now, with that said, as always, be sure to watch this video throughout its entirety. Stick around to the very end to hear my conclusion and statement. And be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So at this very moment, Retro Goons is trading at around 6.94 Solana. Now we have seen new all-time highs with this collection, but keep in mind, the price of this mint was 2.5 Solana, which was just yesterday. And it's jumped over threefold in the past 24 hours. Now what's really amazing is that the floor price is 6.9 Solana, with 1,400 entities on the floor. This is really good in my opinion because if we see this number of entities listed drop to say for instance 1,000 or 700, you can expect the floor price of this NFT to go way, way up. Maybe say 10, 15, maybe even 20 Solana for the lowest cost. Again, that's just my own opinion. But again, you can't ignore the trading volume. 72,000 Solana within 24 hours. That is absolutely amazing. It's great to see transaction volume like that for any collection for its start because it shows that there's gonna be a lot of leeway in the very beginning. Now, let's go ahead and go into some certain things. Like, for instance, Retro Goons is actually the most traded collection and most popular collection on Solana in the past 24 hours. And also, within the six hour, it is number three. In the past hour, it is number five. But keep in mind, you cannot ignore one thing. It's that Retro Goons is doing way better Tile Pilots, D-Gods, and Utes all together. It's actually up 2,000%, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and move on to the juicy things, because why is this collection gaining a lot of traction? Well, we do know that Invicta, who is definitely one of the creators of this collection, said this, it's truly hard to express how grateful I am to be a part of this community. Whether you are a collector, creator, or spectator, your support means more than you'll ever know. Big things coming and happy new years. Love, Evicta. And when we go to this next slide, you can tell that the floor price has actually done really well. Remember, the floor price that we saw was around 6.9 Solana with 1,400 listed. Look at this. The NFT listed at this time of the snapshot was around 689, and the floor price was 9.6. That was the all-time high. Can we revisit those numbers? I absolutely think so. And by the way, yesterday's trade of volume was 46,000. That just goes to show you how much volume is going into this collection. Very bullish in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and go into the charts. Now this is on the hourly time frame. Now the reason we're looking at this is because we're trying to see the potential behind this collection. Now we have seen a retracement in this red pullback, these red candles, we have seen a pullback. But what's really good to see here is that there's a new support level. And that support level is right around here. Say for instance, around 6.93 Solana, as we've seen it go back and forth. So that's our new support level. But what I project, what I think is gonna happen is that we're potentially gonna see a new floor price around 14 Solana. It may not happen today, it may not happen tomorrow, it may not happen this week, but nonetheless, I think that's where we're gonna go. How did I get that projection? Basically, I took this bull flag and I basically took the pole and moved it over here. And that's exactly how he did it. But also, let's go ahead and look at the Fibonacci retracement. It's also telling us that we're gonna hit around 14 Solana. So there's two different things that are showing us that prediction. But also look at the NFT listing count. Remember, we dropped around 800 NFTs, a little bit less than that, around 900. But regardless, we did bounce back up because we saw more paper hands, more people who just wanna trade. But I think that's gonna die out in the short term. I think that's gonna happen very little in time. I think sooner or later, it's gonna actually head to the moon at some point. Again, just my own opinion. Now, the, the activity in terms of the relative strength index is actually showing me that there's actually not of activity uh, or at least a lot of activity happening to this collection, but that's okay. I mean, the thing is, I think this is just the initial start. This is just 24 hours. I think we'll just gain that traction back and we'll head to the upside. Now, why are people aping into this? Well, maybe because Frankie from the D-Gods collection, he was actually pretty critical of this collection because again, they look like derivatives at the initial start of the actual Utes NFT collection. And then for some reason, uh, the founder of Retro Goons decided to uh, hop on a Twitter space with Frank to address that, you know, he's going to stop his 
a Ute's derivative collection and create his own collection called Retro Goons. Because originally this collection was called K Utes. And so because he did that, he earned the respect of Frank and Frank ended up minting one of these NFTs and then it started getting a lot of traction. And even Frank said this, I have deep respect for these two founders for not going through with the K Utes mint. Excited to see what they come up with instead. And Retro Goons was born. So we've seen people mint out amazing one-on-one -on -one artwork. Okay, there's only like four or five of these out there circulating in supply. And again, these people minted for 2.5 soul, which is absolutely fantastic. You see here, the artwork is pretty phenomenal. In my opinion, it looks gorgeous. It's very clean and it's very uh, family friendly. I think this could absolutely do really well. So I think it's good to have some exposure to this. This one has uh, a person named Cody minted another one-on-one. -on -one. Again, amazing artwork, uh, amazing detail. I love the one-on-one -on -one artworks. So let's go ahead and talk about certain traits that you should look forward to. Like say for instance, I bought one of these NFTs for 2.6 Solana. Why? Because it had the noun glasses and the block cloud halo. Why are these really important? Well, I sold this for 35 Solana. So that's an amazing flip in my opinion, buying it for 2.6 and selling it for 35. And this just happened this morning, which is absolutely fantastic. So I wanna show you what traits to look out for, but keep in mind, there are some great one-on-one -on -one traits that are not on for sale, but if you're trying to find them, you can go in hyperspace, go to close and type in one-on-one. -on -one, and that is the best way to find one-on-one -on -one rarities in case they ever list it. So let's go ahead and go to Magic Eden where you can find the best traits. Now, you must be wondering, what trait should you look forward to? Well, I'm gonna help you find that out. Well, number one, I definitely want you guys to go down to the glasses. And when you go down to the glasses, I want you to find the noun smile. Why is the noun smile so important? Because these are the most profitable and also the ones that have the most demand. Look at the cheapest one, 21 Solana at the time of this recording. Even when you look at the activity, you'll see how much people are paying for these NFTs. 25 Solana, 25, 1999, 35, which was mine. We also have 24, we have 26, but sometimes you'll get great deals, like someone paper hand this for seven Solana. We also see some for around eight Solana. Again, you just have to monitor the floor and to see what happens, maybe someone will paper hand. But again, that's just one aspect. That's just one trait. What else is there? I would say if you're going to look for a head trait, again, I would look for uh, the halo, the cloud halo, which is this one right here. And as you can see, the cheapest one is for around 6.98 Solana. To me, that's a great steal in my opinion. You even have this one right here that's really cute with the glasses, the smoke, and the little cute suit. Again, you cannot ignore this collection. It is absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Now, again, there's so many treats that you should look forward to, and hopefully you can find one for yourself. But for around 6.85 Solana, to get some exposure to this collection, I think is an absolute steal in my opinion. So in conclusion, do I think that this thing is gonna moon? In my opinion, I do think so. But again, don't go investing because you heard my video. Make sure to do your own research before investing because the last thing you wanna do is get dumped on. I know that these guys are going to create physical digital uh, figurines for our um, retro goons, which is absolutely great. And also, I think there's gonna be some upgrades and some updates within the team. Be sure to join their Discord right here and they have all the updates there. But what's really great is that they're gonna expand, they're gonna reveal more later on down the road and 2023 is looking bullish in my opinion. So. I hope that this video has been informational and educational for you, and I'm wanting to wish everybody a happy new year. This year has been absolutely fantastic, and thank you so much for connecting and subscribing to our channel. So as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and I'll see you next week in the year 2023.